Hello everybody, welcome to The Pound Trader. I hope you had a nice weekend. This is my analysis for Monday 22nd of April 2024. Welcome to the channel. So starting over on the monthly time frame, we can see here that we are still pushing with the cells. Um, we almost had a rejection here, a bullish rejection, but no pressure and now we're going down. And if you've been following my videos, then you know that I'm still hoping that the cells will continue all the way to down here, even down here before um, continuing up. So yes, um, lots of selling pressure. The month hasn't closed yet. So moving over to the weekly time frame. Uh, weekly time frame now we can see it more clearly um very bullish i mean bearish pressure as well um lots of bearish candles as well lots of momentum and yeah there's a possibility that we now might push further to this end over here or this end over here according to me now um at least we've had a breakout out, out of, um, from this range um this is what i've been waiting for for a long long time because at least now we can have a bias and a trend as well uh, moving over to the daily time frame. Um, so now we can see it clear, uh, much more clearly. clearly. <laughs> now, if you've watched my videos and you know, I was hoping for a retracement around this level here, but that did not happen. I was at least hoping to get a retracement back to this trend line, then go down. But that did not happen um, when we scale into the lower time frames. I will show you my exact entry. Um, but now we can see that we are still pushing down and this is like a really bearish candle. And I think that maybe when we open, it might still continue pushing down. Um, my bias is maybe this level here or maybe up to this level here, but I won't be shocked if it continues to move all the way back to this level here. Because if you look at these candles over here, um, there's a possibility that it might just, you know, continue pushing down. So maybe a level that i would like to maybe look for a sell still i'll still like to look for sales um maybe waiting for a tracement around this level here maybe back to the trend line then go down or um if not maybe even a retracement back at this level over here um before pushing down hopefully maybe by that time we might see where price uh, price goes to and then you know we'll see but for now um, I'll just have to stick to the cells because trying to look for a retracement buy just does not look like a safe thing to do. Okay, so moving over to the four hour time frame now. Uh, maybe let me use this tab. So uh, moving over to the four hour, this is a little micro trend line that I have over here. And we can see um, now the previous trade that I made an analysis for, I was really, really hoping to get... Um, a retracement back at this candle over here and then push up but you can see that i was unfortunately stopped out and this was after how many days was this i remember i held this for a couple of days um maybe we scale down to the lower time frames um we will see we can just do that right now yeah so yeah i remember i held this trade i got a, a better entry around this level over here and then i was stopped out on friday now i held this this position for around two days and I did not move my stop loss to break even. Now, normally I have a rule that when I see rejections on a trend line that is around that level there, I did not move my stop loss. I was just like, ah, oh, these candles don't look so scary. They're not too bearish. I was like, let me just hold. But if I had probably moved my stop loss, then that would have been a break even trade. So yeah, last week, not, um, not too many trades. I think there was that opportunity there. And then there was also an opportunity on Monday, but I did not take it. But yeah, according to my strategy, those were the only two trades that I saw. Lots of consolidation wasn't the best thing that happened. But hey, so um, now on the one hour time frame over here, <clears throat> what I'll be waiting for on Monday is probably a small retracement, maybe back to this level over here before going down. Now, just to be clear, guys, when I say I'm looking for a retracement, it's not that I'm looking to buy. Like, it's yes, I will buy, but it's because I want to look for a better entry to get a sell. So that's what I normally mean. Because I'm an entry trader, if I do see an opportunity, I will take a short-term buy, but I'm biased on the sell side. Now, I'm hoping maybe price can come up to this level, but even if it doesn't, even this level might be cool. When I open my moving averages, we can see... 
yeah, price might end up um, maybe coming back to this level and then going down. So this is what I'll be waiting for on Monday. Um, maybe a small slight retracement, then I will take a sell because now my buy options, <laughs> I don't think I'm comfortable taking buys anymore. If it does maybe just uh, break below this level for whatever reason, then I will watch out for the next level and look for a retracement before um, heading down. Um, just to see this clearly on the four hour time frame. Mm, so yeah, um, just not see it clearly because I can see that we still have lots of momentum, maybe back down to this level over here, because when I scroll back, um, yeah, this is a level over here and there's a current level over there, but yeah, oh, I hope this is not complicated, but yeah, looking for cells is what I'm saying, because also from my micro trend line, we have this bearish sort of, um, rejection from over here. And I still think that price might push down i hope i've made sense um so yes basically that's what i'll, I'll be looking for for monday uh, moving over to moving over to the dollar sorry just to see what's happening um this is the four hour time frame let me close my moving averages so i still think the dollar might retrace i don't know why there's uh, like a lot of hesitation on the pound but i think that the dollar will retrace because now we also have those bearish candles over here and then um, maybe back to that level and then push up if i use my fib retracements let me see yeah this level looks ideal i don't know why the pound has been tr uh, struggling with the retracement um yeah because i can see we almost have like a double top over here more rejection i still think we're gonna push down so maybe that might push the pound up who knows and maybe just looking for correlation um i'm just looking at the euro i do not trade the euro but i can see that with the euro lots of lines here <laughs> with the euro it, it was also retracing and that's what also like you know pushed my bias to get like a short-term buy on the pound but yeah, maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is the euro. I just use it for correlation. Once again, I do not trade the euro, but it looks like it's retracing up before going down. And that is what I had hoped for, for the pound. <clears throat> but it doesn't look like that will be happening. So yeah, we'll just have to go with a trend or rather I will go with a trend because this is not a signal service. Um, this is just my <clears throat> opinion. And yeah. Uh, just looking over the calendar very quickly, we have news that's on Tuesday, 10.15, 10.30 euros. These are euro news. Um, pound at 11.30 a.m. and USD at 4.45 p.m. East African time because I am based in Kenya. So I will end the video there just to make it, you know, uh, shorter. My ch <laughs> chart looks like there's a lot of things happening, but I hope at least you've understood the sort of um, ideas that's going through my head. Um, watch out for the next video. Please subscribe if, if you found this insightful. Road to 300 subscribers. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.